Hey everyone, welcome to ALB programming lesson. In this lesson, we will learn to compare folders automatically with code compare. This folder might contain files and subfolders. Subfolders can also hold files and deeper levels of subfolders. So, it might be too complicated to compare similar folders manually. As an example, I'll use SMPP SIM projects. I'll compare different versions of that project with this great tool, Code Compare. First of all, let's download and set up Code Compare. Go to this link. In this tutorial, we will be using this version. Click here to download. While the download is going on, let me introduce a little bit about Code Compare. Firstly, it has a free version and a pro version. You can use the free version anytime free of charge. The pro version allows you to use for 30 days as a free trial. You can get a pro version from here. You can also see the difference between them at this link. I'm going to use the free version so that the lesson is accessible to everyone. It might still take a while to complete the download, so I'll download the sample that will compare two different versions of SMPP SIM. Go to this link. This is my GitHub page. You can download the release with a little bit bug fix. Here you can find the old version without the bug fix. Let's click here and download the newer version. Go to this link. And click here. To download the older version. Alright, the new SMPP SIM is downloaded. So the old one and the code compare. Let's install the code compare. Click run if this pop up appears. Click yes. Click next. Accept the agreement and click Next. I'm going to keep everything as default and click Next. Here, here I take this so that I can launch the code compare from the desktop. Click Next. Click Install. Keep this ticked so that the code compare will start immediately once I click finish. This dialog box is asking me if I'm going to use a pro version, free version, or trial version. The trial version is the same as the pro version, except it's a 30 day trial. As I promised, I'll choose the free version. Username, let's say ALB, click OK. In the future, if you want to upgrade to the Pro version, you can click Help and Register Product. And then choose Professional version. All right, this screen is actually what is used for comparing individual text files. But we're comparing a pair of similarly structured folders. So I close it, click File, New Folder Comparison. Next, I'm going to open up the two different folders on the left side and on the right side. Let's open one sample folder on the left side. 
It should be in the downloads. Wait a minute. I haven't unzipped the folders yet. Now I have a similar folders here. Back to the code compare. On the left side, I'll open this folder. On the right side, I'll open this one, which is the new version of SMPPCM with bug fix. Now the differences between each file and folder are highlighted. The blue highlight means that the two files on each side are different. Let's see how different they are. Double click on either of them. The differences between these two files are already highlighted, if you can notice. If you are interested in why they are different, you can watch the previous tutorials on SMS. Now let me explain the red area. It means left side contains all these files. But on the right side, those files don't exist at all. You see? Similarly, this green area indicates these files exist only on the right side, not on the left side. But I'm pretty sure most of these files are the same as these files. It doesn't make sense not to be able to compare them. So, in order to reach this purpose, I have to do a little bit of adjustment on the folder structure. In one file explorer, I open the older version of SMPPSIM folder. In the other file explorer, I open the newer version of SMPPSIM folder. Then, in both folders, I open the subfolder source. And you'll see what is going on. The right side has these many files and folders, but the left side has only one folder with different name. This explains the comparison result just now. I'll open this folder named Java. And I realize these files and subfolders are the same as those in the right side. These are supposed to be comparable, but let's look at the folder structures. On the left side, 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 parent folders. On the right side, 1, 2, 3. There are three parent folders. So in order to make these and these comparable, I'll move this one level up. Now, this and this are in the same parent folders. Back to the code compare, click refresh. Now these Java files are compared to each other. Most of them are the same. Let's see how different they are. This file highlighted in blue is different in two versions. So is this. This red folder exists only on the left side. You see? This file is different. This is a resulting runnable jar. They are and they should be different in two versions. By the way, if you don't know how to make a runnable jar file, please watch the fifth lesson. If you are interested in knowing how to set up SMPPCM in Eclipse, you can check out the second lesson. All right, these files exist in the old version, but not in the new version. I don't know whether or not you use them, but I've never. Finally, there is a readme file only in the new version. Well, this is pretty much how to compare two folders using code compare. Let's dive a little bit deeper and have a look at the highlighted different files. Let's see this one. The red area indicates the code that exists only on the left side. 
The green area highlights the codes that exist only on the right side. Also, look at this vertical white bar. On the white bar, there are some colored spots which tells you the current files are different. On the contrary, if you open up two identical files, you see a white bar without any spot, clean and bright. But in this file, click this spot, you go to where you can see the difference. For example, when I click this spot, I come here, it looks like the code in the green was above this line and removed. These two lines are compared to each other. The difference is highlighted here. All right, the code in the red area exists only in the left side. Let's see some other differences, like here. This line is changed to this one. The difference is this encoding. This change is added in order to make the web form display those non-English characters properly. This is pretty much the comparison of this Java file. Now let's compare other files. This one. As we learned just now, the red exists only on the left side. It looks like the red was above this line and removed in the newer version. Similar with this one. These two lines are the same. Now let's take a look at this tiny button. It says click to replace difference. I click it. The left side will replace the right side. I try one more. Well, this is one of the features of the code compare. In addition, the code compare also compares multiple lines. This line is compared to these many lines. See? From here to here. This is a comparison between imported classes here. In the new version of SMPPCM, between these two lines, this green code is added. Similarly, between these lines, this code is added. Those are added process message payload. We discussed it in the 10th lesson. Let's continue. Let's see this web form. Look at the highlighted differences. And this. These are related to character encoding. They solve the problem of displaying foreign characters. This is a jar file. It doesn't make too much sense to compare jar files using code compare. Even if you try, that's a mess. And that won't help you at all, I think. In general, the new version of SMPP SIM solved two problems. One is displaying foreign characters in the web form. For this purpose, this one and this one are updated. This version fixed another problem. That is the process optional parameters. This is why we used the newer version of SMPP SIM in the 10th lesson. You can find the changes in this file. To recap, in this lesson, we learned to use code compare to compare folders and files. With this tool, we compared two versions of SMPP SIM. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Peace.